Hi, it's Patrick with E38. In this video, we'll configure our AMLED Reach receivers as a base and rover for use with Field Genius for Android. Let's start by configuring our base. We will need to do all of our base configuration within AMLED Flow. First, let's make sure our base is outputting over LoRa and take note of the frequency. Now we'll set our base point. For consistency and repeatability, we'll start a new project regardless of our setup method, whether that is using an averaged out single or fixed solution or manually entering a known coordinate. For our fixed solution base point, we'll use n-trip corrections and shoot a point with a 2 minute average versus our single solutions point where instead we won't use corrections, we'll turn off the setting to collect a point with fix only and begin averaging out the single solution over 2 minutes. With our known coordinate, we just need to be careful to enter our coordinates correctly and save that point. Once we have our base point saved, we'll go into the base settings and tap on configure. We'll select our coordinate entry method as manual, make sure our antenna height is correct, then select choose from project and select our save point from our project. Our base is now ready, let's hop over to our rover. On our rover, we'll set our correction input to lower radio, making sure our frequency matches our base's output frequency. We'll take a look and make sure our Bluetooth is discoverable and one of our position streams is set to Bluetooth. Then we can launch Field Genius and open a project. Tap Select Instrument, then Add Profile. Then we'll select our make and model, give this profile a unique name, and tap create. We'll set up communication and search for our Bluetooth device. Then select our rover and connect. Next is corrections, which we already configured in flow, so we'll select no RTK and FGA. We'll then input our pole height with the additional antenna offset being added automatically. Then we can select our tolerances based on job requirements. We can adjust these presets if necessary. And finally, we can select if we will use the RS3's tilt compensation. Now we'll hop over to the survey screen and we'll see our RS3 act the same as it does within MLID Flow with our deviations, PDOP, and tilt compensation status listed in the top status bar. With our fix, we are ready to get to work. This has been Patrick with the E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.